Hello, I'm Chris of Eternity's End and Alkaloid, and today I'm here at Morda Sound Studios where Hannes Klosmann is recording drums for the second Eternity's End album called Unyielding. We had a little bit of bad luck after the release of The Fire Within, since our record label went out of business and I feel the album never got the promotion that it would have deserved, but we're back with a vengeance. We have a little bit of a lineup change for this second album. We're having a new vocalist, which is Yuri Sanson from Hebria. He's actually been one of my very favorite vocalists of all time uh, since I heard the first Hebria record in 2004, and I'm very excited to have him on board. His voice fits perfectly for the new songs. And we have Mike Lepon from my all time favorite band Symphony X on bass, which is absolutely surreal for us um, to think about. And the biggest change is that we added a second guitar player to the band, which makes a lot of sense because um, the songs I wrote for Eternis End have always been written for a two guitarist situation. And the new guitar player is Phil Tugas from First Fragment and Cthulhuist, and he brings a very exciting new element to the band. There will be lots of twin guitar solos and trade-offs in the style that you find on old Cacophony and Razor X records. And uh, not only is he a phenomenal lead guitar player, but also a riff machine. We wrote the whole album together. We wrote 10 songs together in a very short time period and we could have easily written two albums in a row because the creative flow felt so natural. Hi, my name is Phil. I am one of the guitarists and composers of the band Eternity's End. I am here at Stygian Studios working on arrangements and recordings for our band's second album, Unyelding. <laughs> What we're creating right now is a piece of truly uncompromising power metal with speed metal and neoclassical elements. We're not reinventing the wheel, I mean it's not the most groundbreaking offering the genre scene, but we truly have our own way of doing things, our own way of mixing our, our influences together. The music on this album is basically a mix of German, Japanese and American power metal influences mixed together with SNES video game soundtracks. We put this all together into one consistent cohesive package. Straightforward song structures, very aggressive riffs, extremely uh, memorable choruses, and obviously we have our uh, signature triple lead trade-off system. In a sense, you have two guitarists and one keyboardist trading off solos with each other, and harmonizing solos of each other over the span of a 50 minute plus album. Obviously, the goal here was to create a very over the top, very flamboyant album, very flamboyant album. Uh, but despite this uh, level of self indulgence, the album doesn't lose any of its memorability or coherence, which I think is one of the uh, best things we have accomplished with this album. The album will be mixed and co-produced starting last week of August by Pete Sielk from Iron Savior. He will also provide the choirs for this record and he did choirs for bands like Blind Guardian among many others. And we're trying to have lots of huge epic choirs, big choirs on this record much more than on the first one. Producing a record like this is a full-time job for everyone involved, um, but unfortunately there's not a lot of money anymore in that style of music nowadays but in order to give you the best production possible, we need your help. 